BBC Fan TV. I wish I had better news for you, but it seems we've got a little bit of a problem on our hands. As we know, uh, Moretta went off with a hamstring injury. We didn't know it was a hamstring injury at the time, but we now know it's a hamstring injury that he went off with in the, uh, the game against City. Uh, originally, when he went off, I turned to Rory and I said, I think he's probably gone off because he went off so early and we didn't really see the injury happen. I think it's just something that he obviously felt. Um, but it's, he's probably gone off to prevent it becoming worse. I didn't see it as a major problem. Um, but since then, he's had medicals. and I don't think he's had one by the club yet. That's still to be uh, carried out. I've seen reports of him being out for two months. I've seen other ones saying he says, you know, it's just um, a grade two hamstring injury. Um, but for him, he's tweeted out saying, you know, he's, he's got no time to, he's basically, you know, trying to recover as quickly as possible. And he hopes he'll be back for the game against Palace. That is very hopeful. And I'm, you know, so pleased that he's thinking that way and trying to reassure us fans. But I can safely say that I don't think he's going to be in the Palace game. Uh, I think we've got to assess our other options. And it's a huge blow for us because Morata, until last week, was joint Premier League top goal scorer with Lukaku. Obviously, now that's changed. Uh, and I had him down to be one of the top strikers this season, uh, not just for Chelsea, but overall in the Premier League. And I think if he's out for any longer than a month, then that is in jeopardy unfortunately um, but nevertheless we don't know until you know we get a full update on his injury however for now I think we need to assess our second choice options so let's see who we've got so it's quite a lot of things to discuss here but I'm going to start off with Bakshiwai um, he's been fantastic for us scored the winner in Atletico Madrid one of the, our toughest Champions League games against one of in my opinion uh, Europe's best teams and, you know, although it wasn't a one-man job, I know the lead-up to the goal was fantastic. A little flick from Bakayoko, that definitely helped. Uh, but he was the one to put the ball in the back of the net and seal us a 2-1 victory in the 94th minute. And, you I mean, you can't, you can't create scenes like that. We all went mental and, uh, you know, I, I myself trust him. I think the main thing to refer to with this is that when Murata did go off, bear in mind it was quite early on in the game and we already sort of had players out of position, I would have literally just done one simple swap. He, on the other hand, despite Michi giving us the winner in a very tough game midweek, decided not to bring Michi on and to bring Willian on instead and to push Eden Hazard up front. That to me says he doesn't trust Michi. I know, uh, you know, we've, we've seen some of that in Conte before. Why he doesn't, I don't know. Um, I don't know what more he has to do. He's, you know, I think he's brilliant on the pitch. Um, is he Morata standard? I'd say no, obviously not. Um, but is he a, a brilliant second choice? I think so. Conte obviously doesn't. And I think that's a huge problem for us because if he doesn't trust Batshuayi, why haven't we, you know, tried harder in the transfer window to sign more covering forwards? We haven't done that. We've loaned out the likes of, I mean, Tammy Abraham's on loan, Traore has gone to Leon. We don't really have any other options. Michi is the one and he's not a terrible one in my opinion. But I think pushing Eden Hazard up front didn't help. William wasn't on his game. And from then on, we just had problems all over the place and it resulted in a defeat at home to one of our main rivals. And, you know, it's, it's a great three points lost when they're the points we should be picking up at home against our rivals because it's going to matter when we come to, to play in them in the away leg. And we're all battling for the title. We want to retain our Premier League trophy. We want to keep it at Stamford Bridge. Uh, and that's not going to happen if we don't win these games. So not having... Conte not feeling like Michi is a suitable replacement is a huge, huge problem for us. So I'm going to make a guess and I'm going to say that Morata is going to be out for around four weeks. I know he's hoping to make a quick recovery, um, but I just don't see it happening. He's pulled out of the internationals. He's definitely not going to be involved in any of Spain's action. Uh, and Palace isn't that far away really, only a couple of weeks and I really don't see a hamstring injury. If he wants to recover properly and fully, I don't see how he's going to be ready for that game. Um, the question is then, who do we move up front in 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 the meantime? Um, for me, like I say, I'm going to go back to why. I don't think the rest of our team is broken. I think the only reason I would change things around is if you know we really solely relied on our striker. And although he has been fantastic for us and you know been a fantastic goal scorer for us ever since he's joined the club, which normally. If you think about how long it takes strikers or any player to settle into Chelsea FC, it takes normally a lot longer than what it has Morata. He's honestly flown and I'm, I'm really, really surprised and happy that he's doing that well. And from the minute I saw him come on the pitch and, uh, you know, make that sort of impact, I predicted he would be one of the Premier League's top scorers. Obviously, this is a, is, this, this is a major setback. Um, so, yeah, you know, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't 
try and change the rest of the team. I would keep the back line as it is. And by that, I mean not including Gary Cahill in. I think we need to stick with Rudiger Christensen and Dave. Uh, obviously, when David Luiz is back, we'll see if that changes Christensen's part. But again, you know, if, if Conte's one to play players are based on merit, then Christensen was probably the only player that had a decent game in the Man City game. So, yeah, it'll be interesting to see what he does there. But in terms of our forwards, I don't think moving Hazard further up front, having William in the team, helped at all. And I think we need to try and keep as much stability as possible. I think we need to keep the rest of the team as stable as possible. And for me, that means putting Michi up front and keeping it that way up until Morata is back and fully fit and ready to play a full 90 minutes. Comment below, let me know what you think. Um, but yeah, I wouldn't change the rest of the team. And at the end of the day, who else do we have? We have nobody. We've, we've sold our players. Uh, Conte didn't get Lorente when he wanted him in the summer. We missed out, we missed out there. So... We haven't really got any other options. I think that's this is something for us to think about in January because we, although Morata is our, you know, our top striker, he's a fantastic player, and by all means we want to keep him at the club for as long as possible if he keeps playing like he does. We need other reinforcements. We need pe we need backups. Uh, we need other players that will be able to step up and do a half decent job when he's not around if he can't play, you know, whatever the situation is. So I think in January, and it's a, it's a long, it's probably a long going problem we've had. We've never really been able to settle down, obviously other than Didier Drogba, but we've never really since then had, you know, two top quality strikers, I think, that the manager trusts. So that's not who I think are top quality. Obviously I do actually like Mitch Bertrand, so you comment below and quote me if you, if you don't rate him. But I actually do like him. It's just a concern that Conte doesn't trust him. And I think when you have that sort of conflict, or, I mean, we don't know it's conflict, but you have that sort of divide between a player and a manager, it never ends well. So I'd like to think that if Conte does come around to play Michi in this time when Morata's out, that, you know, that sort of boosts his confidence and that we see more of what he can do and we realise that he actually isn't a half he actually is a half decent player because going into our Champions League fixtures that's also so so important. Uh, yeah, comment below, let me know what you think. Like I say, it's depressing, isn't it? We were doing so well until then. Him coming out is a huge, huge blow for us, and we just need to make sure that you know he's back to full fitness. What I don't want to see is him try and rush back for the Palace game because although every Premier League fixture we have now is important, Palace isn't up there with you know our our top six. Uh, main rivals if you, if you if you want to put it that way um, so I'd rather he waits until he's fully fit and back ready because um, uh, um, otherwise I feel feel he's gonna you know go on the pitch and we're gonna he's gonna get an even uh, even worse injury and we really don't need that so yeah comment below who do you want to see up front instead of Morata would you push Eden up further forward would you like to see Mitchie in that position would you change other parts of the team around comment below let me know and if you like this video, why don't you click the subscribe button? Hopefully tomorrow when I see Rory, we're going to have some positive updates on this for you.